Yes, I think what's happening is that the, the Russian troops don't know what they're doing. Their orders are to simply pulverize everything in sight and not realizing that there's a nuclear power plant there. And the main danger is what is called the LOCA, loss of cooling accident. Once the cooling water starts to drop and uncover the core, that's when all hell breaks loose. That's what happened at uh, Fukushima in Japan. That's what happened at Chernobyl. The core is uncovered, no cooling water. Temperatures rise to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, the melting point of uranium dioxide. At that point, you get a hydrogen gas explosion, a steam explosion that will blow the roof right off the reactor. That's not science fiction. That's what happened at Chernobyl. 30% of the core was shot right into, into the air at Chernobyl, vaporized because of the explosion. Here now we're talking about troops, armed troops with military-grade weapons with the capability of breaching the core, causing a loss of cooling, and initiating yet another Chernobyl-type accident. This is just unimaginable. I, 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 want to, I want to back up for just a second because we have nothing to indicate that the reactor is melting down has melting down or is in danger of melting down. It's just so early in the reporting. This only began happening about an hour and a half ago. I do have new information from the International Atomic Energy Agency. A general has spoken with Ukraine, and the prime minister denies that the nuclear, Ukrainian nuclear regulator and operator are about the serious situation at the nuclear power plant. They are appealing from, for the halt of the use of force and warning of severe danger if the reactor is hit. At 2.30 local time, which would have been an hour and four minutes ago, an employee added that firefighters have been unable to reach the scene of the fire, claiming the outbreak was the result of shots fired by, Russians, by Russian troops. I will say the slow-mo that we showed, we don't have a way to know what that was. We just know something was coming in. Could that be a flare that they put in to light it up? so they could tell what are we dealing with here? Something to light up the night sky. I remember covering wars in, in, in the north of Israel and, and, in, and in Lebanon, where forces would come in to, to, to make night activities and they would drop a, a flare to, to be able to see better around them before they continued their exercises. That could be this. We just don't know. What we know is there was Russian troops firing at a nuclear power plant and that a fire erupted. 